Hey guys, Crypto Dad here, and today I'm going to show you how to set up a VPN. So let's get going. So I'm sure a lot of you have heard about VPN and uh, you're wondering what it's all about. Uh, a VPN stands for Virtual Private Network. And what it does is it creates a tunnel from your computer to the server of the VPN. And basically it provides privacy. So inside that tunnel, all of your data, your web browsing habits, uh, anything that you do over the internet is protected within this tunnel and encrypted so no one can see what you're doing. Now there are a lot of caveats involved and uh, ways that you might lose that privacy but we won't go into all of that right now. I'm just going to show you how to set up the VPN and basically it provides privacy for your web browsing habits. Uh, so let's get going. So we're going to do uh, a VPN here that's recommended from the privacy tools page. Now uh, I'll put this link down in the description. Uh, one of the first things that they mention when it comes to privacy is a VPN. So you can see it's pretty important. Now I'm going to choose NordVPN because uh, it has quite a few servers. So if we go over here to number of servers we can click here and see that NordVPN has the largest number of servers. And that's worldwide, so you can sort of choose which server you want to use. And what this does is it makes it look like uh, you're in a different country or a different state uh, to a server that you connect to on the internet. So in other words, once we connect through uh, our NordVPN, say uh, we're in Chicago and we go to uh, a website that website is gonna think that our IP address is in Chicago and uh, it sounds a little complicated but uh, let me just continue on so we're gonna choose NordVPN and uh, we'll just click this link to their website and we're on the website now you'll notice here uh, I talk a lot about privacy and anonymity, but uh, of course I have none when I'm talking to you guys and showing you my setup and where I am and what I'm doing. I'm doing this for your own uh, learning experience, your own edification. So uh, I've gotten a few comments where they go, oh, well, you're exposing you, you know, you're not setting a very good example. Well, uh, I'm not trying to set a perfect example of privacy. If I was, I wouldn't be on YouTube, okay? So, uh, yes, you can see where I am right now. So we're going to take that as red. So it's showing me that uh, this is my IP and it knows who my ISP is. And basically, it can sh it, it, my status is unprotected, right? Because I don't have the VPN activated. So uh, we're going to choose Get Nord VPN. All right, and then you can choose the plan that you're after. Uh, you can pay per month if you want to. You can uh, get a one-year plan if you want to. With each plan, you'll, you can see it gets a little cheaper per month. So I'm going to choose the uh, two-year plan. It's going to bill me $79, and I'm going to get a two-year plan. It's like uh, any other online service. Uh, that you pay for, uh, like we'll compare it to Amazon, you know, you pay up front and uh, you get a subscription-based uh, membership uh, or like Hulu or Netflix, anything like that. So uh, after two years, you'll need to renew. Um, so we're going to choose the two-year plan and you go down here and you put in your email address, whatever the case may be. I'll put in the crypto dad just for demonstration purposes. 
All right, you put in your email address and then you go down here and you choose your uh, preferred method of payment. Uh, I like PayPal. If you're trying to do this totally anonymously, you might want to go with Bitcoin, but uh, Bitcoin is not totally anonymous. There are a lot of uh, factors that you would have to uh, consider if you were trying to do this completely anonymously. And uh, I might address that in another video. Uh, but basically, you might want to sign in from uh, a computer that's not connected to you, uh, so maybe one that you've set up, and then not from your home. You would go to a coffee shop somewhere in a neighborhood that you don't normally frequent uh, to sign up for this thing and uh, with Bitcoin, because they're, they're not asking you for your name or address or anything of that nature. They just need to get paid. So your account would be completely anonymous. Anyway, uh, we're not going to go into that right now. I'm just going to sign up as me and uh, get this thing. So uh, let's say you choose your credit card. You know, you put in your name and your credit card number and all that good stuff. You've all done this before, so I'm not going to go through that uh, so much. Now, uh, once you've paid, you're going to get... Uh, let's see here. Yeah, you're going to get a little message from them on their website that's asking you to check your email and uh, you'll just go over there and uh, check your email uh, you're going to get an email that asks you to activate your account you'll click that link and then it's going to take you over to their download page uh, i think i've clicked one screen past it, it it takes you to a page where it offers you all of the different uh, types of downloads depending on your platform uh, you can install this on uh, Android or iPhone or Mac OS or uh, you know you have a lot of choices I'm choosing Windows uh, the vast majority of the people out there using computers are running Windows and run this installer Okay, I'm going to let it install in the default location. Pretty straightforward. Now, basically, it's going to install some uh, networking software that creates a virtual uh, networking card or interface. So uh, you want to just click OK. Uh, hopefully, my antivirus isn't going to object to anything it wants to do. Account. So uh, the email that I provided uh, on the initial sign-up screen, uh, they sent me you know, the confirmation and it asked me to provide a password. So we've got our uh, email, is, uh, that's our account name, and then we'll have our password that we set up and that's what we're going to use to sign in uh, to the software in this interface right here. So they're offering me their own uh, filtering service. Now, uh, I'm going to give it a try. Um, I get a lot. I have. I already have uh, antivirus, and I have uh, anti-malware, and I have a router that uh, protects me. So I'm constantly getting uh, messages that are telling me that something or other is being blocked. And there, I have a lot of overlap on my system, but... Uh, I know it can get confusing, but I'm going to go ahead and turn this on, and uh, you can always turn it off in the settings later. Connect. Okay, so it's got me connected uh, to their VPN and it's going to resolve my new IP address Let's see what happens here okay so there you go they've given me a new IP address let's go over here and we're gonna refresh this browser and see what they tell me is it gonna okay so now it says that I'm protected and it's showing that I have a different IP address and that's it guys um, 
there's probably a little control panel down here where I can turn it off and on. And, all right, I'm going to move myself up a bit here. And I'll show you this when we uh, click down here in the bottom. There's the Nord VPN icon. I can right click and get access to this. And I can quit it out if I'm tired of uh, using my VPN. I can open up the app and it looks like I have uh, the ability to turn it off and on from here as well. Right, so, I mean, it's just like a regular you know, off and on thing. Alright, I'll just put it back on. And so there you go. Now you're protected. So uh, let's take it a little bit further. I'm going to open this guy up. I'm going to switch countries. Let's try Australia. I'm going to connect to Australia. So now it says I'm connected to Australia, and when we go up here, uh, we're, we'll notice that when we refresh, the IP is going to change. See? So now it looks as though I am uh, to this web browser, or to this server, it looks as if I'm uh, connecting from Australia. So uh, that's it. I wanted to sort of uh, show you a quick setup on how to uh, do a VPN. It's not as difficult as many people think. Uh, this software makes it uh, pretty good. And NordVPN is one of the preferred uh, VPNs out there for privacy and anonymity. Put myself back down here where I belong. <laughs> Okay, guys, so if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and uh, subscri subscribe to my channel, please. Uh, I love when people subscribe to my channel. And when you subscribe, there's a little bell at the bottom that allows you to uh, enable uh, notifications so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope you had a good time. Uh, I'll see you again soon.